Um, here in Waukini, Kansas, um, we see, and not only in Waukini, but in all road constructions, new and old, the quality of soil is very low. Um, typically, because of the construction of the road, we've scraped away all the topsoil, and we're now trying to plant in uh, subsurface soil, um, as well as soil that's been highly compacted. We want to compact the soils for good road construction um, on the engineering side, but once that's done, that's poor uh, soil quality to try to grow turf grass in, which we would want a uh, soil that is not highly compacted. So out here in Waukini, Kansas, um, we have a great research trial location um, where we're mimicking new construction um, and try to establish these turf grass species in this low quality soil. So we'll establish these in 2016 and we will evaluate them every other month for an entire year afterwards so we can see the long-term establishment of these turf grass species and the persistence of these in, in the harsh conditions of, of the soil as well as only um, supplying what rainfall mother nature is giving us. These grass species are very similar to the grass species that you would use in a home lawn. Um, the rye grass is a cool season grass that likes to grow in the fall and in the spring. Um, it requires a little bit more water, a little bit more fertility, but it is not heat tolerant and it's not drought tolerant. The idea behind using that grass species is because it establishes quickly, it can stabilize roadsides fast and be able to meet uh, EPA watershed quality standards and erosion control standards. And then the buffalo grass species that we're using is the same buffalo grass species that you would be able to use in a home lawn as well. Um, it is ideal for roadsides as it is very drought tolerant, heat tolerant, cold tolerant, and it can be grown in poor soil conditions. I've seen it grown in cracks of concrete before, um, but it is also very low growing. Um, we, we really like this buffalo or grass species to be able to persist on roadsides um, because as a motorist traveling down the road, they don't want to have very tall grass on the side of the road for safety purposes of animals running out, not being able to see. Um, so it, it, is, it helps because it's slow growing that, that it's safety for motorists as well as safety for DOT employees that are out on the roadsides maintaining these grass species, mowing them periodically. And because it's low growing, we'll not have to mow as often. So we'll be able to save resources, time, and money in the long run.